y'all, Nemo here, bringing you along on our recent adventure to American Samoa. But first, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification button for updates on AI and life in general. Let's dive into our journey in Waikiki before heading off to American Samoa. Get ready for a feast of sights, sounds, and flavors. Our first stop, Kanika Pila. The atmosphere here, simply magical with live entertainment. I dived into some crispy fried calamari and a heavenly strawberry cheesecake while my husband went all out with a whole crisp fish. Trust me, it was so good, he didn't leave a single bite. Right. Next up, Lilaha Bakery, an absolute favorite. The homemade bread is a must try. steak and eggs for me, and spam and eggs for him. And oh, the baked goods, simply yum! Pod was next, with stunning scenery and a laid-back vibe.
Before our flight, we grabbed dinner at Chicken Fry at the airport. Prime rib for me, a comforting soup with chicken and gravy for him. It was the perfect wrap to our Waikiki food adventure. And that's a wrap on our Waikiki culinary journey. From bustling eateries to cozy cafes, every bite was a story of flavor and joy. Next stop, American Samoa, and we're home in the land where my roots went deep. Rising at dawn, I reconnected with my childhood memories in the embrace of nature. I'll let you in on these moments through my short outdoor videos. This is a papaya tree. Wait, a coconut tree. Yeah. I don't see anything hanging right now. But this is a coconut tree. Uh, not a, sorry, a cocoa tree. You know, they make chocolate. This is that tree. And then there's the banana tree. There's our house over there. Our culinary adventure began at Fangatogo Market. We savored traditional round pancakes. Six for just one dollar, what a deal. Let's get to the phone, Jake. So Joseph uh, wanted us to prank his wife, Tina. So we also visited the historical Avahina Brothers store, famous for its fresh bread. Amazing hot food, a must try in American Samoa. The next day, we headed to Cecilia's for breakfast. The atmosphere, the story behind the place. The food was delicious, and the service was top-notch. Highly recommended. Vale, a local favorite for fish and chips. Perfectly battered, the best we've ever had.
made it a place of buzzing with Filipino hospitality.